Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is from Balconas. This is their peated single malt coming in at a 59% ABV, at least four year age statement. Now, I've been on quite a journey with Balconas lately and I've done several of their bottles and I have probably several more depending on when this posts and those will be linked up above and down below. But I've been really curious on how their peat it is. And I don't know, I, I took a jump for it and I'm excited. I love peaty smoky. And I know American is, when you do the peated smoky stuff, it tends to be a lot different. So one thing we do know about this one is that they use Highland peated golden promise barley. And I'm really excited to see what that does for something here in the United States, especially being from Texas. So as always, we're trying it two different ways. First way needs it, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a drop of water. Let's see what changes up. Again, I've been doing a lot of, lot of uh, Balcona stuff and I've just had such an amazing ride with them. I think I've had four or five different bottles of theirs at the time of this recording. I'm excited. Look how dark this is already. And again, this is just four years old. It's just crazy what Texas can do to a whiskey. Honestly, it's as dark. I just got off the heels of the Texas uh, rum. It's as dark as that. It is rich caramel and like Coca-Cola colored. All right, I'm excited. So let's go for notes. That reminds me, oh, that hits so good to home. I'm a huge Scotch fan. I have a lot of art bags. It is smoky, peaty. Oh, but it's got this sweetness to it. There's an underlying grain sweetness in there. Oh, it's a little salty, a little briny which doesn't quite add up, but it's close. Like that's where my brain is going. A little bit of that wood varnish craft note that I get from about every bottle of Balcona so far. But the even the subtle peaty smokiness, it's not smack you in the face on the nose. It's nice and mellow. It, it's almost like a wave, like fog, just kind of rolling in. I love that. I love that nose. Wow. That sweetness that it brings across here. Really, I didn't expect that. Oh, that's so good. But there, I love it. It, it reminds me of an art bag. My brain is going art bag. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. Let's see how the taste goes. Letting the ABV kind of adjust there. <laughs> oh, buddy. Mm. Mm. I'll be honest already. If this was a blind taste test, I would have said this is a scotch. It's so good. <laughs> Smoky, earthy, peaty. Got kind of a, what is that? There is something in this mid palette here. It's almost, almost a spiciness, but not quite, not like a rye spiciness, but there's like a, a spicy quality going on there. And then you're kind of left here at the end with that bit of smoky and a little bit of a cherry going on, probably from the wood. A little bit of a chocolate going on here. Mmm. Oh, freaking A. Balconis. <laughs> I've hit the promised land. 
Like, this is so good. Mm, there's a spice quality right there in that mid palate that I'm loving. But it's not like a rye. It kind of reminds me of the same spiciness that the um, the cedar whiskey did. Kamiki. There we go. Kamiki. The Kamiki cedar cask whiskey. Where it's got this kind of a wood spiciness to it. Oh, that's so good. It's not as earthy and peaty as I was expecting it because my brain's, again, thinking Ardbag, but it's got those characters to it. Holy shit. I could, I could, I'm just, I'm just going to sit here all day. You're just going to watch me for the next 45 minutes drink this. How do you like that? <laughs> mm. And there's a berry note going on too, like a, like a blueberry or, or a, a blackberry going on in there. Mm. The ABV really doesn't show up at all. That's the, the proof mixed in with that smoky, earthy, peaty notes blends together so well on, on a whole nother level. Holy crap. I, my mind is blown right now. Now I'm curious what a little water is going to do. Is it going to make it? Is it going to break it? Is it going to be just another lovely way to enjoy this bottle? I'm very, very curious. Mm. Mm, I love that. But let's go for notes on the water version. So it did bring out a lot of the sweeter notes now. A little more fruity floral. Here you're still getting that peaty earthy. You are getting the craft note a little bit stronger here, that craft wood note. Yeah. So nice, honestly. Honestly, it's still a great, great nose. Not as much character. The wood spiciness is still kind of there. But you kind of have to go look for it. Here, you're picking up almost like an art bag. You're getting that smoky, salty, peaty quality here. Here, you're getting the smoky, maybe a little bit of salty. But nowhere near the peatiness. And, and the, the smoke is much, much lighter. So, let's go for taste. Yeah. I mean, that's still damn good itself. The the earthy, peaty notes are kind of all washed away at this point. They're still kind of there. The spicy is still there. The berry notes that I was getting are kind of all the way through now. You kind of get them from beginning, middle to end. And overall, it's really good. Honestly, if you pick this up and you, this is too strong for you, add a little water to that. Wow. Definitely much more inviting. The craft note's still there, but it's not offensive. The mouth feels still good on it. It's not quite as intense. You still get a bit of the the earthiness, and it's kind of a uh, a mossy earthiness to it. I guess is the best way to put it, like a damp earthy. But it's still good. Definitely. Uh, the warmth from the ABV, you're going to feel still. I can still feel it down in my chest here. But it didn't kick it up to a point that is un, uh, unpalatable. It didn't make it go sour or anything. There's no, no metallic to it. Honestly, it's a really good way to enjoy this as well as adding a little bit of water to it. So, all right. Let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price. And it's always going to vary. If you can, you can order it from their website for 80 bucks, which is what I did. And I was really on the fence because I was like, man, I, I just, that's a lot of money to spend on a bottle that I don't know much about. Uh, I've seen it on some websites go in the 90s. Flaviar right now has it for 120 bucks. I'll tell you what, at 80 bucks, this falls right in line with some of my favorites. I love Port Charlotte. It's one of my favorite smoky peaty scotches right now. Um, I love. 
peat monster going in the mid 60s. This is a twist that American Texas twist on this really is what makes this one stand out in the crowd. You know, would I, you know, because at this price point, you're going up with the big boys in Isla territory. You're going up there with, you know, Lagavulin 16, uh, some of the uh, older or different casks of Lafroid, um, Ardbag, you're getting up in there with Corey Vecken and Ugadal. You're, you're really, you're going up there, you're swinging. And I, honestly, this is swinging hard. Would I buy it again for 80? Yeah, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Would I buy it for 120? I don't think so. No, at that price point, I bought uh, Lefroy Lore. I think you're getting way out of its price point on that. But for 80 bucks, uh, that'd be right where I would want it to be. I don't wouldn't overpay for it, but I don't want to undercut what they're doing with this. Four years old to bring out those flavors is amazing. I love it. So yeah, there you have it, folks. Balconis peated single malt if you have any question about the bottle itself let me know down in the comment section below i will do my best to answer it and if you have any specific spirits i should go looking for also let me know down below i love doing these reviews and sharing with you those at home i love doing these reviews and sharing you with you the experiences at home so as always may your last drink of the night be the best one